That was Awesome God with, of course, the praise band. And our scripture for today happens to be Psalm 119, verse number 43. Listen to what Ezra says. He says, don't take your word of truth out of my mouth, for I have hoped in your law and judgments and word. So here is Ezra saying, listen, Lord, you have put something in my heart, and also as well, it is something that I want to speak into my world. And because I'm speaking it into my world, I'm telling people about your word, what's going to happen is it's going to create hope in my life. So when you and I decide to not only read God's word and not only apply God's word, but also use God's word as a platform of our conversation, you know what it does? It creates hope, not only in ourselves, but others. For example, if someone is going through a hard time and you bring them a wonderful word, like for example, someone comes and says, you know, I'm dealing with fear right now. And you say, listen, here's a verse that really has helped me. And it's 2 Timothy 1.7. You say, uh, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and of a sound mind. What that is creating in both of your worlds is the fact that you are telling them that through the word of God, you have experienced that love love, that power, and that self-control. And you're telling them as well, listen, you can have the same thing happening in your life. And what that does is for both of you is creating a moment where God's word can be applied into both situations. Also as well, when you are talking to people and you saturate or salt your conversation with the word of God, it creates an atmosphere um, you know, spiritual connection. So either way, make sure that you speak not only your own conversation, but allow your conversation to be saturated with the Word of God. I remember my pastor, whose name was Ken Bunting, and he used to say, praise the Lord, thank you, Jesus. And often he would salt his conversation with different aspects of the of, of the Word of God. I, I love when he used to say to us, I've passed from death unto life. And that basically said that he was not afraid of death and that he was enjoying the abundant life that God was bringing into his situation. And that's a, a little, uh, you know, boost there. And also as well, a little thing that Ezra brings to our situation today. A little thought for you today from your scriptures and also a little message of hope from your friends here at the AM 930 The Light Edmonton's Positive Talk. And now Billy Funk with Oh Most High.